Bitter foods are really good for you, but they're sadly missing in the sugary, salty, modern American diet. Bitter foods have antioxidant and anti-cancer properties and can aid with digestion, support liver function, and even help tame feelings of rage and anger. When we eat or drink something bitter, it activates the bitter receptors at the back of our tongues called TRS2R and triggers a neurochemical response in parts of our brains. Recent research has also found that we have taste receptors all over our bodies, in our guts, lungs, and even thyroids. From early civilization on, people have experimented with plants, often the bitter tasting roots or bark of trees and shrubs to treat ailments or to help prevent them. Ancient Egyptians infused wine with bitter herbs and resins. The 16th century alchemist Paracelsus concocted a bitters recipe that included myrrh, aloe, and saffron. In the 18th century, Swedish doctor Klaus Samst revived it, but Swedish bitters, as it was called, fell into obscurity until the early 20th century when an Austrian woman named Marie Trebin said Swedish bitters cured her of typhoid. She spent the rest of her life championing the elixir. Bitter foods are enthusiastically incorporated into dishes and cuisines across the globe. In Japan, there's even a saying, Yo yakuwa, kuchi ni negashi. Literally, good medicine tastes bitter in your mouth. Here are some of our favorite bitter foods. Dandelion greens are easy to grow or to forage, and they grow on every continent except Antarctica. To cook them, pick the young leaves, then blanch them briefly in boiling water before sauteing. Chinese medicine used dandelion as a detoxifier and diuretic. The Japanese blanched the leaves of white dandelion in a savory broth for oestashi. They're high in vitamins A, C, and K, and also minerals such as iron, calcium, magnesium, and potassium. Chicory and radicchio are crunchy and refreshingly bitter, and these tender perennials grown as annuals do well in mild northern climates. Chicory roots can be forced to develop pale, tender heads of endive, which we love to eat raw as an appetizer filled with blue cheese or vegan cheese and sliced pears. These delicious, refreshing greens are high in vitamins A, B, and C, as well as calcium and potassium. Frise and escarole are also members of the chicory family, and people sometimes get them confused. Escarole's leaves are more like curly leaf lettuce, while frise is, well, frizzy. Both are easier to grow than chicory and endive, as they don't require forcing. They're not as bitter as chicory, and they grow beautifully in cooler climates. Escarole holds up better to cooking and is wonderful paired with white beans in soups and other dishes. And the granddaddy of bitter veggies, bitter melon, also called goya. The compounds cucurbitacin, which is also present in cucumbers and melons, and mamortacin lend goya its astringent punch. They are also part of what makes it so good for you. There are many varieties of bitter melon, one of our current favorites is Junpaku Okinawan White. We love to use this mild variety in a refreshing summer drink made with ice, lime juice, and a dash of agave. But it's also amazing in stir fries. Plantain leaf can be cultivated or foraged. Either way, when harvested young, the leaves make a wonderful substitute for spinach. Plantain has a range of medicinal uses. The leaves can be made into a tea to treat coughs and bronchitis. They can also be used externally to treat stings, bites, and other skin sores. Plantain grows in a range of climates. Artichokes contain cynarin and silymarin. These phytochemicals have antioxidant properties and may lower cholesterol, control blood sugar levels, support gut health and liver function, and prevent gallstones. 
vegetables. Artichokes are also packed with fiber, vitamins, and minerals. Artichoke leaf is a traditional ingredient of digestive bitters. An aromatic bitter herb, Garden Angelica, is excellent for treating digestive problems and relieving tension. It's also used as a remedy for colds, coughs, and urinary tract problems. The stems and seeds are used for flavoring sweets and in botanical liquors, and the dried leaves are used in bitters. Garden Angelica is believed to be native to Syria, but naturalized in cool European climates. For an excellent bitter green, try Bloody Dock. This edible ornamental is often grown in beds and borders, but the tender young leaves are tasty, sautéed, or tossed into a salad. Bloody Dock is high in oxalic acid, though, so be careful not to eat too much of it. And finally, cruciferous veggies such as kale, Brussels sprouts, broccoli, collards, and arugula are all rich in glucosinolates, an anti-cancer compound known for its bitter flavor. There are varieties perfect for every climate.